Yeah, g'day, g'day, everyone. So I thought what I'd do for the last one, um, I do put up. So I want everyone to understand what happened to me and how much of an awakening I got, the realisation that was given to me when I went into the afterlife and I was connected to fully to source to understand everything of all creation. I'm going to put up a video in a second, and this video is my mentality before I had the experience fully happen to me. And you can see I'm using Yahweh, and you can see I've got an enemy because I hadn't understood to have full unconditional love for all of creation at the time. And after, well, I'm a totally different person now, and I love the whole of creation, and, and it's actually absolutely divine. But you can see within this video I'm about to present, um, put up the presentation I put up that I was 100% full on saying that the Illuminati, 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 just like I've preached and I've told you as many times that I used to be like it a long time ago as well. So this is just before my awakening when I put this video up. As you can hear, I was awakening anyway to understand bits and pieces, but I still had an enemy. And uh, that is why I could never have connected to Source at that time because if I tried to connect to Source as the full 100%, I never had the unconditional love for all of creation. And when you have that, you have to have unconditional love for all of creation without removing one part of it. So that's the hardest thing for anyone to do. So enjoy the presentation of what I put up a couple of years ago. And uh, you can see the difference in my mentality these days to what I was teaching then. All right, peace. Uh, I thought I'd do my rant on um, why we're here, so... Uh, I believe that we were shifted through the mysterious ways that God works, and uh, we were shifted by God using CERN and uh, the devil, basically, to manipulate the time and space continuum for us to understand the true workings and creations of Yahweh. For a simple reason is we were shifted, we all understand already that we're quantum because you can't exist in the two parallel realities, etc. We understand what's going on now because we have actually shifted consciousness. Not physical body, but the consciousness energy itself, and we have memory, so therefore you have 100% confirmation that the consciousness itself is what stores memories, not the brain, etc. Like we were told all the way through our lives that the brain is what you you get your memories from or you retrieve memories from, so there goes that out the fucking door. Um, so why are we here? Well, judging by Orion Spurs vibration frequency, we're at a very lower vibration frequency as what we were in the Sagittarius arm. And, uh, we as a collective, the Sagittarius arm, people that have come here are more spiritual, um, uh, religious, spiritual, and, uh, conspiracy researchers, etc. like that. But we are the truthers. We were the ones on Sagittarius arm that was trying to talk about the whole peace, love, um, uh, unite the planet under against the evil of the Illuminati, etc. like that, tried to expose them. So, okay, so here we are. So we experience pains and all different kinds of um, manifesting uh, dark consciousness in this reality into us. Well, fair enough, our, our consciousness vibrating at the Sagittarius arm frequency is sitting in the Orion Spur avatar, from the manifested um, uh, collective here, so there's your problem there. The two aren't supposed to be together. They're not supposed to be the way it is, but anyway, that's what it is. Um, so why are we here? I believe that we are here to awaken everyone else on the earth before the Illuminati get a chance to do all their fucking crap, that we are a collective. We are the consciousness that manifests physical reality. People have to understand nothing really does exist. It is a hologram um, computer game through vibration frequencies um, uh, just manifested into reality. The atom is blank until it receives a vibration that turns it physical. This is your evidence that this is not real. The problem is they want you to believe that this is the real. They want to keep you entrapped in this real um, uh Matrix that they've made, like the movie Matrix is 100% dead on in some of the aspects of what it does for symbolism, but there's, um, the, like what they're trying to do is keep everyone entrapped in the, the fake um, uh, reality of uh, feeling and safe zone that they're trying to give to you. For example, um, the Earth is round, has been what you've to been told all your life. We all know the Earth is flat now. If you don't, you need to fucking wake up. But it's just logic. You've got 
um, Degrassi fucking crying about shit, saying that next minute, oh no, the Earth can be more of a pearoid shape and shit. Nah, mate, the Earth is not a fucking pear. Hey, what, 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 is this cunt's fucking getting paid to tell you this. Remember this crap at the end of it too, hey. There's no fucking pear Earth and there's no fucking ball Earth, right? It's exactly what it says in the biblical terms of what it all is, where they've been trying to hide God. It's the firmament on a flat earth. End of story. That's what it is. You either believe in God and understand that's what it is, or you go against it. Science is 100% everything against what God had said. That's the only reason science is there. Science itself is its own religion to take people away from learning about God. Now, back to the matrix. So, inside this matrix, we have frequencies everywhere from ELF to radio, etc. like that, everywhere that influences you every day. Now, this is the invisible war that you're not aware of. You're not aware that everything is consciousness energy. So this um, interference of signals that are playing with your consciousness energy that in a collective, a singularity, from the singularity in a collective is manifesting physical reality. They are now changing the way that consciousness manifests reality. This is why all these frequencies are up to keep you at a lower vibrational frequency. The fact is that we as a world... Where as a collective of the world, everyone should be aware of that we are nothing but consciousness working as a singularity, as a collective. Everything that we do matters. Everything that we say matters. We are not um, individually divided into families. We are not individually divided into countries. We are not individually divided by language. This is the problem. We are not individually divided by skin color and race. None of this shit fucking matters. This is the big illusion of lie that they've sold to you in the Matrix of what to believe and how it all works. The fact is, none of that shit matters. It's all orchestrated and manufactured by them so you can get the, that belief system going and you can believe that you're stuck into that kind of reality. That reality is their reality. The truth of all reality is that you are a singularity of consciousness working in a collective and we create physical matter. We create reality. So let's all get together as a collective and do what we're supposed to do. Awaken the rest. Let everybody become awake. Everyone knows that the Illuminati are fucking scum. Everyone knows that the government's run by fucking... They're just the puppets of the fucking um, 1%. Everyone knows this. There may be people that are on the differ of flat earth and round earth. Who gives a flying fuck? At the end of the day, you want to fight the enemy, we want to fight the enemy. Let's get together as a collective. Who cares about what you believe? You want to fight the Illuminati? Let's fight the Illuminati. It's all about us joining into one massive force. They can't do a single fucking thing if we unite. That's the reason why they're all about um, globalization under one law, one rule. Then they have the whole world controlled under one law, one rule, one police force, mate. You see, so easy for them. All because we've been divided into these little sections, each area, and they can control it so fucking well. Can you imagine what would happen if us as a collective of the entire world turned around and just said, nope, we're not going to do it. Do you really think that they've got enough camps and everything like that to put us in? And why the fuck would they even kill us all, down to what they're saying all the time on the Georgia Stones and stuff like that, if the fact is that through science has proven now as well, I must add, that consciousness creates physical reality. So what's the point in them killing off um, 7 billion consciousness energies so they can't have a physical reality? The whole point of these fucking demons is to intercept into our um, consciousness frequency of manifestation of reality from the inner dimensions of the, la the next superverse along so they can actually manifest their dark consciousness influence into our reality so they can manifest into this reality. So what is the point of them coming along and killing us all that is the consciousness manifesting this physical reality? Because then they have fuck all left and they've got to go all the way back to point fucking um, A of their superverse of their own dimensional design and they've got to now try to leak all the way through again the fact is they don't want to fucking do that what they want to do is have us enslaved in tyranny um terrorism fear all the vibrations that they feed from while they try to figure out transhumanism and they become an infinite robot in this matrix plane so they can continually control the matrix plane um that we manifest from inside of our consciousness manifestations, changing out what our consciousness manifestations should be. 
and this is the whole game. Nothing really exists. This is the, this is the problem. If you think about when they talk about um, Armageddon, nomads, and shit like this, what is the main um, subliminal message of all of these movies? Walking Dead, everything that you think of, right, is all about you being individual with your own little group, being individuals, going out and doing what you have to do against everyone else to try to survive because everyone else out there is so fucking bad, right? What a load of fucking shit. That's the mentality that they want you to believe. The fact is that you should walk along and say, hey, to the next group, I sign up with that group, walk along with the next group, I sign up with that group, and then all of a sudden you'll have a fucking community instead of walking around like a fucking dickhead individual robbing people for their own fucking shit. See, this is the mentality that you're sold. It's bullshit. Nothing is um, individuality. You have to realize we as the world is a giant collective. And we have to become this collective if we are going to win. You have to wake up. You can deny as much as you like. You know, you can say, oh, indoctrination has got me so fucking jammed in a box I can't see outside that fucking box. Who gives a fuck, mate? Just snap the fuck out and realize that this is all going on right in front of your face. Do you think that this is not all orchestrated? Do you think all these false flags have just appeared all of a sudden because of 9-11? Do you think that planes could fly right into the airspace of 9-11 and into two fucking towers in broad fucking daylight without anyone sending off an alarm? Come on, use your fucking heads out there. Anyway, that's my rant.